Okay, so we have arrived at the ferry which we are going to take to Garanga Fjord. Well, I did my research initially. I thought that, you know, it was only 295 krona per person. So works out to be about 590 for two. But when we came here, the attendant told us that, you know, we need to pay 900 five i was like what the hell okay we, we, i didn't question until i saw the receipt it shows if you're going to drive there's another 610 krona you need to pay for your car something that was quite astonishing for us we didn't expect it because ever since we've been here in norway for the last one week the ferries that we have been taking you know we didn't really see like you, know, you need to pay for your car so 905 krona yeah it works out to be almost it's close to about 150 singapore dollars so it's quite expensive but it's a one hour and 40 minute ferry ride across the granga fjord so just take it as a ferry trip that you get to see one of the world's uh, unesco heritage site well something worthwhile i guess soon the ferry timing is 3 30 i guess it's almost time I think during summer, yes. It's bigger. It's much bigger here. showed me to the to the sink in her kitchen just to make sure that I don't get burned just let me just tap run some water yeah but of course there's a washroom on top so I just got myself cleaned up yeah okay they gave her a refill of the yeah she gave her a refill uh, a refill of the coffee yeah she she was very nice I think in general Norwegians they look a little bit uh, stern they don't really smile as much when I go to Australia the locals there look very friendly you know that just by looking at them they look very friendly but in Norway, something a bit different. They look very stern and serious until you really approach them and start to like crack a few conversations. Then yeah, I think most of them are, are really nice. But as you can see, we saw the fjords and everything. There was narration going on to tell you about history of the fjords and all that. Honestly, I'm not a history student, but the fjords are 
amazing. It's always good to know some little bits and pieces of the history of the fjords and of course this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site but yeah worthy, it's worthy of its name. Very beautiful bear. And we are getting on the ferry. Yeah, it's Just parked our car at Hotel Garanga. Oh look at that, look at that. Oh so cute. Yeah look at that. I think that's the buggy or See? something for the hotel. So beautiful. She's only interested in the electric car, not the view. Is it? <laughs> I'm more of a view person. <laughs> no, that's yeah. not true! Don't don't believe what he said about that. Okay, that's <laughs> not true. I have a booking for one night. Are you two right? Yes. yes. Two people for one night? Yes. Yes. Let's see. <laughs> I have some information here about the hotel. Wi Fi okay. password. We're now on fifth floor and breakfast is included from in sixth floor from seven to ten in so the morning. Fifth floor. Yeah, yes. one up to okay. breakfast. Yes. Okay. If you have any questions, just let us know. Do you have a gym here? No. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay to get that. But we have the beautiful nature. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. So okay. yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Enjoy thank your you. stay. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Let's go and get our car. You yeah, unload your luggage. Finishing is a little dated, uh, but then yeah. you have to see this. Nice. During summer, there's going to be big cruisers parking along the ferry terminal. I think I think that sucks because it really blocks the view of the Garanga Fjord. So. Yeah, without the cruises right now, I think the view is fantastic. <sighs> of course, it would be better if you go higher, but it's really very nice. So, do you like the hotel? Yeah. Well, everything's perfect besides the TV. So. Yeah. Yeah, the TV the is view, quite pathetic. The yeah. view makes up for it. So, and and we're good because it's summer. I mean, not summer, but it's spring. Spring, and you have the daylight till almost eleven o'clock at night. So this is going to be like almost permanently there except for that few hours when yeah. you sleep and then yeah. when you wake up you see it again so this is perfect. Yeah. This room is not cheap. They are really selling you based on the view. Yeah, it's really not about the furnishing and everything because it's really very dated. It's the, the whole room looks very dated. Okay, time to go to move the car and then take a little walk around the area and see and look for food. Yeah, because she's, <laughs> she's hungry. I'm always hungry. Mm -hmm. uh, local beer. Yeah, we got two local beers. Mm. This is made in Garanga and this is made in Oslo. So okay. kind of both local and you can't Oslo. read the languages on the packaging. It means it's local, so. Yeah, so. okay. She likes to chase birds for... I don't know why. <laughs> This place is so Instagram worthy. So yeah, there's still rooms over here. Uh, that actually belongs to Hotel Granda. I still like my room better. This is a fantastic place to do a drone shot, you know. It will be a, such a waste if you don't do a drone shot here. But my concern is that there are residentials here and a hotel. I'm not sure if there's going to be like electronic interference but then I'm going to try. I mean the worst situation is that the drone is just going to fly out and just going to find a new home 
in the Garanga field. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Our car is there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she just went to open the wrong car door. Yeah, our car is over there. This is our car. <laughs> Time to find food. Looks like a hiking track. No, but actually it's not. So, we're going to continue to explore the town. Garanga. Let's see what we find here. I have a feeling that all the restaurants here are not open. Chocolate with a feel. Okay, crap. Like, Sorry we're closed, but when are you open? So this place sells chocolate and specialty, okay, local come back, specialty. Come back in the morning. So we have to come back tomorrow. This is closed too. So they close at 5. Oh, so the shops here close at 5. Oh crap. See, the shops here are all closed. Interesting. Yeah, we didn't know. No, we it's only like 7.15. I got a feeling it's because they know that there are no tourists today or there isn't much tourists during this period of time. So I guess they feel that there's no need to open their shops till late because, you know, who is going to eat? Every shop is closed except for this one With that is under renovation. Un under renovation. <laughs> There's practically nobody here. And then it looks like we have to eat at a hotel, so mm. let's hope that the hotel food is good. Okay. Give me some reindeer or... I was just joking. Mm -hmm. Sorry, no. I'm not a reindeer person. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, we found food! And apparently one of the restaurants is open. It's called Brass Brasserie Pro uh, Brasserie Prosten. Brasserie Prosten. Yeah, that's a restaurant. Apparently every shop here is closed and this is the only place that's open. And the menu looks pretty good. It's pretty it looks almost like fine dining. The hotel staff was telling me that most of the shops here they actually close very early. Uh, during this season in May because it's not the peak season so if you are here during the off season like us you know just for here for the uh, for the scenery so this is what you're gonna expect Garanga you know you so don't eat late eat early yeah that's about it very good nice it's got lots of salmon and fish Really good. And you've got all the bread on the side. Okay, so I'm gonna make the view. Looks good. <laughs> she's having the fish. What fish is it? Cod. Oh, she's having the cod. Norwegian uh, salted cod. Yeah. Okay, time to eat. Yeah, the shops. Yeah, the shops looks good. Yeah, we have to have the ice cream. Mm, it's quite nice actually. The souvenir and yeah, the shops here are quite nice. Okay, time to fly a drone. Let's hope that I don't get hit by a seagull. Okay, we just finished with the drone shots. Ooh, it's very cold. <laughs> <sighs> I missed the heat already. Tomorrow, we only have like half a day. Just the morning in Garanga. Then we'll head off to Alasan for two days. And the staff at Hotel Garanga was telling us that Alasan was beautiful. Yeah, so see you guys tomorrow. I'm very tired. Yeah, and cold. And cold. Yeah, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye.